for Wait, can I call Charlie's? I genuinely want to know if they make their own bagels though, because why would you hang up on me if you did? Yeah. Hello? Hi, I just had a question about your bagels. Hey guys. Hey guys. Hey. Hey. We're here again. So this is round two, episode two of Bagel Tuesdays. Uh, where are we today? Hi. 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 I'm so excited. Say so we're in D23. <laughs> I was like, we're at High School. We got bagels from Manhattan Bagels. Should Immediately, these packages, these packaging, very sexy. I like it. <laughs> very nice. Is that word allowed? <laughs> I don't even know. Love the it's parchment paper. They're fancy. Like, they have printed parchment paper. Or just like, so I, just I like how they write what we got on yeah. it. Yeah. Because last yeah. time we were just like opening it, looking through. And like trading. But this time, <laughs> Wait, who here has never had an hand bagel before? It's been a minute. You know what's oh, funny? Wow. I have. Like, I've been to Manhattan Bagel, but I don't think I've ever gotten my usual order at Manhattan Bagel. Mm -hmm. I usually get like a pork roll egg and cheese on like a roll. Oh, this so is so excited. toasted. Very cute. Mm -hmm. Um, I got an everything bagel, not toasted, with cream cheese. I got a cinnamon raisin bagel, not toasted, with cream cheese. You always get such little cream cheese. I know, but I don't like like a lot of cream cheese, so this is like good. It works. Wow. It's like I got a plain bagel, toasted, with butter. I got an egg bagel, which has like actually like no egg on it. It's just like a plain <laughs> bagel and um, with cream cheese, which I think is funny because like every time we do this, you're like, I didn't get that much cream cheese, but I like it because like, I don't like that much cream yeah. cheese and it's like perfect. And it's like, why is yours the only one that <laughs> yeah. I'm is that They've thing? decided that the bagel is too much. <laughs> exactly, it's like perfect. I'm genuinely wondering. I got a cinnamon with uh, Scallion cream cheese. I mean, did I say cinnamon? Wait, yeah. what? No. I'm like, what? Oh, okay. Sesame. Sesame with like, scallion cream cheese. Oh. At first glance, they're a little light on the sesames. First glance, there's like one raisin in my cinnamon rice bagel. I got a lot of seeds. Oh, wait. I just saw something very, like, gray tail. Great sign of a good bagel. Yeah, the bubbles. Yes. The bubbles. Yep, the bubbles. Bubbles. Bubbles! The bubbles! The bubbles! The bubbles! My bubble. This Hell. has a lot of bubbles and it's great. We're gonna have that bubble action. Oh, Which gets pop. me, or the poppy. Are we taking for flight? We bite? started? Chloe, oh, like, what's the reason that you're crying? <laughs> <laughs> I keep wiping my eye, like, I'm not crying. I'm just, my eyes are so tired. Why are you crying? I'm not. <laughs> Manhattan Bagel is part of Panera Brands. What? What? Be serious. That just yeah, ruined, right here, look. ruined. What the heck? So like Panera Bread, their bagels are Manhattan bagels. Oh. Or other <laughs> way around, I think. Ooh. Panera bagels are not that mm -hmm. good compared to Manhattan. Maybe just because Panera doesn't prepare it for you, like how they mm -hmm. how this. Mm -hmm. Okay, but like Manhattan bagel has a lot of good food. And I like find it weird to think that like Panera, okay, that's not what I mean. But like I find it weird to make like, to think that Panera, such like a healthy-ish food place, mm -hmm. Like eating clean would buy out like a Manhattan bagel because like they have like fried and like like you can't get that from Panera. But that might be it. Honestly, I think that Panera was mad that like not enough people are like eating there because they don't have like the necessary like oil trans fat that people want to eat, okay? So therefore they buy out Manhattan bagel because I feel like bagels are forever. Panera is just temporary and real. I love Panera. It's in my top three fast food. I have to politely but firmly Disagree. disagree, yeah. Wow. We have a ton of Panera gift I'm cards so from like offended. Christmas Can I past. have them? Because I go to Sure. I struggle to find something that I want to eat there. Are you serious? The I'm same good. thing. It's like you what? get like a, a chicken sandwich and three soups. And their salads are four leaves of lettuce. Their mac and true. cheese is really good. Mac and cheese is disgusting. <laughs> I'm gonna have to hop on this real quick. Because so, I have very strong opinions about Panera's yesterday. mac and cheese. I personally don't think Panera is that great. Sometimes French <laughs> onion soup goes crazy. Sometimes. Chloe's heart is But I'm never like sitting right there saying I crave Panera, right? Mm -hmm. But their their mac and cheese, since I already don't like the menu, in my head I'm like, okay, well it's probably one of the best things on the menu. However, like it's not a good mac and cheese. Like it's it's not bad, but it's definitely not my first choice. And you know how like cream cheese kind of has that like that like end taste, like the bitterish mm. kind of Yeah. Like, that's how every single bite of that soup tastes like no matter what. I mean the mac and cheese. I will say they do have really good like breakfast quiche 
dishes. It's right. like in a French pastry. It's also breakfast. Like you're not gonna normally go to Panera for breakfast. Right. What do you get? Ah, uh, what I get? <laughs> okay, so. I feel like this is a very important. That's actually a really good question. <laughs> There's two things I normally get. I normally get the Fuji apple salad, but I'd switch out arugula and spinach and kale for lettuce. And then I get extra dressing. I get no tomatoes, no red onions. There's like blue cheese on it, chicken, the Fuji apple chips. The other thing I get is the chicken frontega sandwich, which is very good. Have you ever had it before? If not, I very much recommend it. I'm not gonna say it's top three best fast foods, but like it's definitely not like the worst. For me, fast food, in no specific order, for me it's Chick-fil-A, Panera, yeah. and Popeye. Maybe. Okay. I don't think I've gotten Popeyes enough to like formulate an opinion yeah. on Yeah. I think Popeyes fries are good. Oh my god. Oh, Popeyes Wendy's. fries are so oh, that's good. Real. Honestly, like Chick fil A, Wendy's, Low key Taco Bell. Like, hate me if you want. Oh, yeah. I've so, never Taco had Taco Bell. Hits at a certain You've time. It depends on what Taco Bell. Taco Bell, I have no shame. It's one of my favorite places in the world. Like, bury me at Taco Bell. <laughs> <laughs> I bit into my bagel and I tasted <laughs> coffee <laughs> seeds. So There's probably some right here. No, I don't. Guys, I'm not really hating really on it, but I'm just saying I'm I didn't get a poppy seed bagel. The other half was significantly less toasty. <laughs> I'm trying to defend this place. Don't defend this. Defend Panera. <laughs> she's she's on a roll today. Chloe feels personally attacked. Anyways, Deserve. I don't like McDonald's. Yeah, I feel like McDonald's is kind of mad. Do they have out of convenience? No. Oh, no I remember the last time I had McDonald's lunch or dinner. I think McDonald's breakfast and everything else is different. Those are two oh, separate categories. Like their breakfasts are okay. Right? I love their hash browns. Yeah, right. so do. Those slap. I'm so mad that when they took away all day breakfast. Wait, they, they took that away? Is that not still a thing right now? I can't believe they took that away. Well, Probably a while ago. They just lost a patron. <laughs> 2016 feels like two years ago. But it it's been six, six years, years ago. Yeah. The whole pandemic thing. I mean, my perception of time was already terrible. It just made it worse. It's funny because if you like, there. in my mind, if so, when people talk about high school, I'm like, oh yeah, like that was five years ago. <laughs> I'm, I'm almost at my 20 year reunion. <laughs> no way. That's yeah, crazy. Class of 2004. I, I was born in 2004. Year, yeah, I was born a year after that. Same. I, your age That's was crazy. always an enigma to me, Mr. Nowicki. I wasn't sure if you were like 28 or like 35. Like, I mean, yeah, when you were your age. <laughs> I don't know. Teachers' know, ages man. are just like non existent. They are just silly. simply teachers. They're like, silly. Their age like, just doesn't like exist to me. Yeah. But his birthday is coming up. <laughs> 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 no, it is. It's right, guys, let me know if someone's birthday is in January and it's October right now. Is their birthday coming up? Like, no, we can sit in September too. It's like, oh, my birthday's coming up. Yeah. This is like literally like, four months. It's not coming up. That's yet. next year. <laughs> well, exactly. I, well, yeah, it is. But all right. So if it's December 25th, like. That's next year. That's different. It, it needs to be like within proper, like a month for it to be like. It will soon. always yeah. be coming up, Mr. Nowicki. Your birthday will always be coming up unless it is like your birthday. So in February, you're going to be like, my birthday's coming up. <laughs> no, <laughs> it's, like, it's on the horizon. <laughs> it's, in, it's within reach, guys, I swear. <laughs> it's like coming up is like within a month. Soon is like maybe like a week, week and a half. It's coming up. It is. No, it's not. I don't say my birthday's coming up. Mine is sooner than yours. When's yours? December 8th. It's coming up. No, no it's not. not. It's, it's October. Like in baseball, you say, like, you're up on, you're on deck. But yeah, but that's right before you yeah, go. Yeah, four months on deck. deck. And then you're in the hole. You're in the hole. I'm just saying, we have literally, like, we have Halloween, we have Christmas Eve, we have Christmas, we have I was listening to Christmas music this morning. That's crazy. That's good for you. I do the same thing. Right. Okay, that's fine. But not your birthday coming up. When it's coming it's really not. It's really like a countdown. <laughs> How many days yeah. until January 18th? It's 99 days until then. 99. 99. And you're three months. Months. That's three months. Okay. Wait, can I call Charlie's? I genuinely want to know if they make their own bagels, though, because why would you hang up on me if you did? Yeah. Hold Oh my god. Hi, I was just wondering if you make your own bagels. Wow. Wait, wait, before we do this, before we do this, let's look up Charlie's. Are you gonna look up the distributor and I can be like, hi, I'm like an agent from like. <laughs> Here's the thing it says Charlie's. Bagels. And so that leads me to believe so that Charlie should be making these bagels. Charlie himself. Maybe there's a note on their menu like, hey, we get our bagels from. They no, wouldn't really advertise, advertise that. Yeah. They, they wouldn't would even advertise answer the question fake. on the call. Here's the thing. Like, I'm, I'm not going to lie. This turkey club 
looks incredible. It does. It, looks it, it probably slaps. Exactly. Like, so if I'm looking at this place, I'm going to give it a shot. <laughs> that was good. But at the That's same so time, good. if you don't make your bagels in house, just tell me. I'm okay with it. Yeah. Maybe that's how you have to start it. If you don't, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna use a different word choice of last week. Hello? Hi, I just had a question about your bagels. Uh, are they made like in-house or do you guys get them somewhere else? It's okay if they aren't, I was just wondering. Oh yeah, no, they've, um, no, a family friend, um, the owner, his friend um, owns the bakery and bakes them. And then he brings them to us about um, like five, six, Oh, okay. I was just wondering for food allergy reasons. Oh, what a pleasant nice. response. I wasn't ready yeah. to find out the truth today. I was oh my god, you're right. They don't make them in the... I just, oh, yeah. like, I was too focused on not being mean to this woman. I, think she was nice, I was waiting right? for, like, yeah, episode six nice. to get the truth. I'm gonna give this, like... See, I found nothing wrong with it. I just... I don't want to give it a ten. So I'm gonna give it, like, a nine point seven. When High Bagel's my favorite place ever. It's so good. I love Manhattan Bagel. I've had better moments with Manhattan Bagel than this one, but it wasn't bad. It was still very good. Okay, so I give it like an 8.2. It was like a good bagel. I've also, I've had them before, but it was good. A good amount of cream cheese, but like some bites I would have no like raisin in them, and then some bites I'd have too much. I think I'd give it a 9.2. It was really good, but just like one side was like real like nicely toasted and the other side looked like half burnt so it was like that's what's throwing it off a little but it was still really good i think i'm gonna go with an 8.5 i like lowball every single rate that i give but like 8.5 was good in my book it was lacking a bit of flavor however the texture was very great it had that bubble on the outside it was nice and crispy on the outside soft on the inside a little bit chewy it's really good though somebody needs to humble manhattan bagel and it will always be me i give it a 6.1 <gasps> oh, what yeah. who are you <laughs> The wow. bagel itself was not crunchy. It lacked a lot of chewiness. I'm gonna cry about this later. <laughs> it didn't have flavor. The cream cheese wasn't spread. I feel like everything was in the hole. Yes, okay, thank you. Somebody had to say it. Here's my hot take. I remember there used to be a Manhattan bagel on St. George where our sandwich station is. And they had delicious bagels. And I think that's when they were just Manhattan bagel. Before Panera. Like, right. So uh, they, Panera bread. I hate. I hate when big corporations go out and buy smaller restaurants and chains. As a matter of fact, one of my biggest criticisms of Woodbridge Township is that there are very few like mom and pop shops. True. Like you have every single fast food chain restaurant like known in Woodbridge. While there are some mom and pop shops, like it's not, it's not the heart and soul. I really don't like when big companies come over and take over and like suck out the culture and the life of towns. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I was liking that bagel until I found out that Panera bought out Manhattan bagel. Yeah. And all of a sudden I was like, ooh, Panera I was bagel. devastated. Coffee thoughts? Coffee thoughts. Um, it was good. <laughs> it goes okay, good and nice. It was, it was good. Nothing like, didn't rock my socks off, but. It was it was it better than Liberty? No. Um, I, I think Liberty was actually a little bit better. Thank you guys for watching again. Watch our other bagels. Hope you all enjoyed us eating a bagel. You can watch yeah. our other videos here and here. <laughs> and this is Bagels with Baron. Oh, woo! Bagel with yeah. Barons. I don't know. I thought that was the actual name. Bye, guys. Well, well, we while ago. They just lost a patron. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great name for a customer. Yeah. I go to McDonald's on the but line at Taco Bell's Bell too long. What is a patron? Like the ex- mm. Yeah. A person chosen named or honored as a special guardian, protector, or support. That's Maybe. not really a patron. Protector. Listen, <laughs> I protected I wasn't the one chosen that by the <laughs> Oh, a social yeah. or financial uh, sponsor of a social function. This is what I mean. Nobody listens to Alex. I got the word I said. <laughs> one who buys the goods or uses the services offered, especially by an establishment. All right, that definition, number three. Thanks, Miriam Webster. Thank you, Miriam. Miriam, Miriam <laughs> My bestie. I love to you. <laughs>